we can express the equation of a circle in the form x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. We call this the expanded form of the equation of a circle. In this case, g is half of the coefficient of x, f is half of the coefficient of y, and c is the constant term. For this form of the equation, the center of the circle is given as minus g minus f. That's the x and y coordinate of the center. The radius is calculated square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Now I would want you to consider the equation x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared is equal to 16. Now I'm sure you are able to deduce that the center of the circle has coordinates 3 minus 5 and the radius should be the square root of 16 so that's 4. But let's say we are to expand this equation what would we get? So by expanding x minus 3 squared we get x squared minus 6x plus 9 and by expanding y plus 5 squared then we get y squared plus 10y plus 25 and all this is equal to 16. By rearranging if we group the squared terms then we have x squared plus y squared then we group together minus 6x and 10y then the numbers 9 plus 25 gives us 34 and it's all equal to 16. And maybe lastly, I'll take 16 to the left side so it subtracts from 34 so that we get 18. So what we now have here is the expanded form of this equation. So the two equations are equal but they just expressed in two different forms. Now we want to see if we can get the same values for the center and radius. We said g is half of the coefficient of x, therefore g comes out as half of minus 6, which is minus 3. And f is half of the coefficient of y, the coefficient of y in this case is 10, so half of 10 is 5. And lastly, the constant is 18. So we now have our g, our f, and our c. Now for the center, we said it's minus g minus f. So minus g is 3 and minus f should be minus 5. And thus we have the coordinates of the center. And now for the radius, we said we find radius by the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c so that's the square root of minus 3 squared plus 5 squared minus c which is 18. Simplifying we get the square root of 9 plus 25 minus 18. Right and eventually this is going to give us square root of 16 which is 4 and that's the radius. And I'm sure you see that we get the same values for the radius using this other method. So I think you can see here that in order to convert your equation from the factored form to expanded form, then you simply have to expand the equation and rearrange it. 